a little bit of moonlight that's peeking through the alley. It's obscured to your left. You suddenly sense someone standing there. You kind of glance over and you just see a silhouette. Do I recognize this? Make a perception check with disadvantage, you drunk asshole. <sighs> Guys. Suck at perception. Six. Can't make out any any details. I put my hand on my rapier hilt. Mm-hmm. Draw myself up to my full height. Say, Gertrude, are you? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, friend. May I? Uh, can I help you? The figure takes a step closer. My, uh, my friend is, is off around the corner. Can I be of some sort of uh, assistance? <clears throat> Takes another step closer. I draw my rapier. I think that's close enough. You sense this figure looking at you, and as they get closer to you, the the full height of your stance, you can tell the figure is a bit shorter than you. Cloaked of hood, maybe comes up to about your shoulders. <gasps> What'd you say? Is it this dick? Is it the fucking door? Is it the door? Shorter. Why don't we have a conversation? <gasps> a little further in, and you see beneath the cloak there's a flash of metal as a familiar Rapier glint hits the moonlight. Further in, where? Points deeper into the alley. Okay, is there anyone with him beyond him? No. The alley itself is maybe about eight feet from side to side, and they're kind of right in the center of it, and they're about three or four feet deep into it, and you're about ten feet deep. I think I'm fine right where I am. Seems I have you at a disadvantage, sir. Yeah. Sounded like a dice. (laughs) What could it be? In a sudden flash of quick movement, unnatural speed, the cloak whisks, and you feel a twinge of burning pain in your chest as you look down at the hilt of the rapier that's now up against your chest. You take 12 points of piercing damage. <gasps> okay, okay. That's natural 20. No. <laughs> no. There right there. As you glance down at it and kind of cough for it, the blade withdraws again and goes this time into the abdomen, right up to the hilt, for 16 points of piercing damage. Bleeding in the alley. Your vision begins to blur. A coldness and a peace begins to come as the figure steps and blocks the moonlight and says, So Bertrand, how it is, huh? Good night. And that's where we're going to finish tonight's episode. As as the vision fades, I just say, 
Oh, 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 oh,